and showed up with a vengeance. Just look at Edinburgh, for instance. Almost about two inches of rain during the course of today to give them their wettest November day on record. And not only that, it was cold and very windy with it. Windy with it. There's been an awful lot of rain, not only around the Edinburgh area, but over a good part of Scotland and more recently into Northern Ireland and the northwestern parts of England and Wales. And a lovely swirl in the cloud here on the latest satellite picture. That's around this area of low pressure. Eventually, that area of low pressure is going to be slipping away across to Scandinavia. And when, when it's gone, then it's going to introduce those colder northerly winds to all parts of the country. But at the moment, the main problem is that rain, southern Scotland, northern Ireland, perhaps even Cumbria, some further heavy rain to come during the course of the evening into the first part of the night with some more problems from localized flooding and hazardous driving conditions. But very, very gradually during the course of the night, that band of cloud and rain, and not only rain, sleet or snow over the hills, will slip slowly southwards, eventually clearing most of Scotland and Northern Ireland, allowing some wintry showers to follow along behind. The showers further south, though, will probably die back to mostly close to western and southern coast. A mild night to come over England and Wales, but turning colder all the while across Scotland and Northern Ireland, some frost in sheltered spots and over the hills. Now, by the morning, that rain will have cleared away from even southern Scotland. So for Scotland and Northern Ireland, a very different day tomorrow, much brighter in most places, some sunshine, especially in the west, but there'll be wintry showers in northern and eastern areas. Quite a lot of cloud across England and Wales, a little bit of sunshine or brightness in the more southern parts, probably during the course of the morning, but there'll also be showers and longer outbreaks of rain, a more persistent band of rain working its way southwards during the course of the day. Somewhat brighter weather following along behind, at least into many northern and western parts. That's going to happen as the winds swing around from the southwest more into the north. And you'll notice something else as that happens. You'll notice the temperature drops back several degrees as well. And in the north, it is going to be quite a cold day with that raw wind. But for most of the time in the south, it'll still be mild. By Friday, the cold weather everywhere, some frost overnight, and then wintry showers, so 